Yo, welcome back to the channel. So, as you've seen from the thumbnail, your boy made a music video. Now, I wasn't approached by a band or anything like that, but I did make a music video. Now, I'm going to rewind the story to the very, very beginning. This video was first ever thought of, conceived in my brain, due to a car shoot. I, I was meant to have a car shoot, and did have a car shoot, uh, with this car. And the original shoot is what I've done that you're going to see today. But I've got to try to sort of get this all in the right order. I had an idea, right? We had a white Tesla, which you've just seen. And I was like, right, we need to do something really cool with this. Something different, you know what I mean? I want to model in it. I want to do like, a, it's a white car. So I googled songs to do with white. And you've probably guessed now from sort of the thumbnail and whatever, that we went down the White Wedding Avenue, all right? And I was like, yes. But Billy Idol's version, it's a bit hardcore. I do like it. I'm a fan of Billy Idol. But um, it's a bit hardcore. So I listened to covers and stuff like that. And I discovered a young girl whose name I can't fucking remember called Janet Devlin, right? She was on, I believe, X Factor. Um, and she does these amazing covers. Really, really good. So I mean, I'll drop a link down to her channel anyway. So go and check out. I've got a bit of fluff in my hat. Go and check out her stuff. Uh, anyway, because it's really cool, but her cover, her voice is so unusual, so different. She's Irish, she's got a real nice little twang. And I'd like this video to get to her, to be honest. So if anyone's on Twitter and can follow, because I don't do Twitter, um, if anyone can message her and say, go check this out, please do. I should probably sue me for copyright, but hey-ho. Um, so that was the song that I wanted, and I had this sort of vision in my head of what it would look like. I storyboarded it, I wrote it all down, I had ideas, concepts, names. We just needed the model, right? And this... This is the fucking hard bit. Women, right? No offense to the previous models that we're gonna do it should you see this video. Um, you all have your reasons for backing out. But I had two models lined up. One didn't realize it was acting. She thought it was just a photo shoot, so she didn't want to do it. She wasn't comfortable acting. There's no lines or anything, but she wasn't comfortable doing that. So I was like, no problem. That's, yeah, totally understand. Next one was gonna do it. I had the dress booked in for her to go and try on and all this business. And then she pulled out on the day of the shoot. Um, so I was like, you know, family reasons, it happens. Things go wrong, especially during, we're talking about a year ago now, we're during sort of pandemics and whatever. So things happen, they go wrong. I'm not gonna hold any uh, grudges against anybody. But yes, after one thing and another, it was just a pain, a pain, a pain. So we've done a different photo shoot on that day for the car, a different video. And this is a clip of that one, which you've probably seen. Why are we making electric cars? Uh, why does it matter? It's because it's very important to accelerate the transition to sustainable transport. And beyond global warming, there's just the fact that combustion cars emit toxic gases. That's obviously bad for your health. So to address this, we came up with the Model 3. If you haven't seen that video, again, I'll drop a link in the description. Go and check it out. It was pretty good fun. There's two versions actually floating around on my page, but I'll drop a link to the first one. Um, so we still went ahead with that shoot. But then Nick contacted me um, probably about um, two months ago, something like that, and said, you still on for this white wedding one? Because I've got a woman that will do it. She's still got her wedding dress. You know, attractive woman, let's go for it. And I was like, yes, damn right I am. Um, so we set up the time and the date and we went for it. Now. This is the most pressure I've put on myself for a video, and it's not even probably that technical to do, but I had to direct someone, which I haven't done. You know, normally it's just cars. So I was directing people, I was working with people, and it was very different. So I'm taking photos, but videos is tricky. And there is some bloopers at the very end, so just stick around for the bloopers or like a few outtakes. So stick around for that as well. So in this video, which you will see, I wanted to get the message across. And I think the message has come across quite clear, but the point is she's in an abusive relationship and she's not turned up on her wedding day and she basically leaves him for another man, be it someone who is just there to help, be it someone who she fancies instead. That's up to you to judge. You know, she could she could be cheating on her fiance because he's a dick. She, he might be a dick to her because she's a dick. Who knows, there is a many ways that this story could be told. But that is kind of what I wanted to capture, that it was an abusive relationship. She's had enough of it. She didn't go through with a wedding and she's gone off to someone better. Be it, like I say, a friend or a lover. It doesn't matter. 
um, it was actually Nick. <laughs> so uh, his car, he is the male model in the video. Um, and he performed brilliantly. He took his three quarter lengths off for this one and he put on trousers, all right? And it was good. I am buzzing with how it came out. There was one shot, if I could go back, I'd do differently. I'm not even gonna say what it is because then you'll probably spot it. Um, but in fact, no, it's not any of the shots that are in it that I do differently. There was just one more clip that I should have thought about and done, but I didn't. Um, now, I filmed this video all on the ATD, which I film with now, the 50mm Prime, super sexy little lens. Everybody should have one of these. Generally all shot at about f2. I didn't want to go fully, fully open because then you get quite a lot of chromatic aberration. Although, that said, I filmed in monochrome, so you wouldn't see it anyway. But um, yeah, filmed it in black and white. I didn't make it black and white afterwards. My camera can film in black and white, so that's good. And this gimbal. That is the, which is the Zion Weeble S, which is the gimbal I use for my car stuff. Um, still sort of getting used to it really and just trying to learn new things, but it was all, all filmed on that. I went for it, it came out brilliantly. They've seen it already and they've got a copy of it and whatever and they're happy. So um, I think without further ado, we will go for it. Janet Devlin's White Wedding, my music video. Let's go. Peace out. Sister, what have you done? Hey, little sister, who's the only one? Hey, little sister, who's the one you want? Hey, little sister, who's your superman? Hey, little sister, shotgun, it's a Nice day to start again It's a nice day for a white wedding It's a nice day to start again Hey little sister, who's it your we? on you. Right, if you start walking slowly. Oh, hang on, wait there. It's just struggling to focus on you. Ready? Oh, you need your flowers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's see just what trying. let's see what happens, yeah. Okay. Right, bing bing, you get the message. Right, now walk around. Oh, okay. 
perfect. Go look at your phone though. Don't. <laughs> do look at your phone. Don't do it. Yes. I'm looking yes. at Holly because you Yes, I know you are. <laughs> You're meant to look sad. <laughs>